so stressful reading is all about right parents and i know it is a stressful how to read where to give stress my child is not able to pronounce the words clearly my child cannot spell it out properly so where is the solution here today we are going to talk the solution how to learn spellings and how to give stress okay students so i hope you have watched my last two videos on mirror technique and i hope you are following it well see students i am really busy from morning to evening with my online classes but i'm trying my best my best to come live okay and teach you some um, something about uh, english grammar interview techniques public speaking i will i will be trying my best in future also to come live and teach you all how to speak flawless english okay students so today we are going to cover up reading so yeah parents you have uh, so many doubts yes that how to teach reading to my kid it's very easy okay the first thing i would tell you it's very very uh, easy you need to pay attention on nouns adjectives main verbs numbers and dates okay these are all stressed if you see my last two videos i have talked in detail about all these things okay so wherever wherever nouns are coming in reading main verbs are coming in reading okay adjectives are coming in reading numbers and dates very very important numbers you have to stress on numbers like my date of birth is 22nd january 1988 i have to be very very clear with numbers okay students so today i'm going to read this is small uh, the morning daily and i'm going to tell you where where stress is and how you need to underline how you need to uh, how you have to speak out aloud the spelling and learn difficult words okay so first the content okay morning daily so i get a stress because it's the content it's the main title today i'm going to talk about stress in english right so if i talk okay today i'm going to talk about new delhi ajanta express and other express and jamuna express you didn't understand anything why because i didn't give stress okay so all these words are stressed in english these are all stress words yes very very important see what now just i spoke you couldn't understand anything why because i didn't give stress i give stress while speaking i give stress while doing any public speaking i give stress while reading what is stress stress is very it's it's a very simple concept students you need to understand see stress is something where we give emphasis okay like suppose i'm reading new delhi three new trains to be launched in new delhi so have you seen in um, in news reporting how do they report okay today i'm going to talk about weather weather forecast okay uh, today so and so thing happened this blast took place this thing took place so yes don't they shout aloud but that doesn't mean you have to shout no you don't have to shout you have to talk clearly you have to follow phonics okay i have talked about uh, phonics sounds phonetics okay you have to pay attention on phonetics what's the sound of each and every letter how do we give stress like for example in this first paragraph see students i have underlined the stress okay new delhi three new trains will be launched next month for three different routes in the country so three different routes country there is stress all three new trains have been introduced to give better services to passengers okay so i give stress on passengers i give stress on nouns okay three numbers numbers and dates very very important numbers and dates okay now see the ajanta express will travel from guwahati dam guwahati sorry guwahati junction to selda junction guwahati junction to chandigarh junction uh, trivandrum junction to new delhi junction so these are important names of junctions names of places names of animals names of uh, uh, people these are all stressed nouns are stressed in english nouns are stressed in english the train will stop only at two stations so i give stress on number two stations rampurath and burdwan 
okay the uttar express will travel from kandugam junction to chandigarh junction four times a week okay so see these are regional names kandugam uh, panjim uh, panji okay like in goa many people say panji panjim okay but uh, there is this one international pronunciation like for bangalore we don't say bangaluru in bbc you will not hear this word bangaluru they say bangalore okay so pay attention on this uh, proper noun pronunciation also okay the uttar express will travel from kandugam junction to chandigarh junction stress over here it will stop at only one junction that's ambala okay so one junction the jamna express will travel from tirupur junction to nagpur junction thrice a week so tirupur junction and nagpur junction from here to there okay and how many times thrice a week twice a week four times a week so i will stress on numbers again all these three trains will have pantries pantries is stress in there that will be used to serve and sell hot cold meals and drinks hot cold hot cold okay it's a big room it's a bright classroom you are smart adjectives are stressed in english okay so hot cold meals and cold drinks hot cold meals and drinks okay to the passengers special services will also be available for children and elderly people so i hope you did understand how did i read with stress try this technique in front of the mirror okay so that you can do actions you can keep the script students like how i was reading right now because i cannot just buy hard this thing out so i kept the script i kept the lesson plan in front of me and then i'm reading so it's very important that you rehearse the script at least two three times so that you get perfect in reading okay try this technique at home mirror technique and let me know how did you feel about uh, what were your results let me know in the comments below be good be confident stay safe students back home we'll come up with another new chapter of reading bye bye it's me harika say bye love you